Hello, my name is Alan. I'm a support engineer here at PaperCut. Today I will show you how to set up top-up cards. First, log on to the admin console and select the Options tab. Under the General section, you will enable Use of Top-up slash prepaid cards, then hit Enter. When the screen refreshes, you will see a new option tab labeled Cards. Select the Cards tab, and you're now in the Top-up card management section. From here, we can select Actions, and download the card wizard. This will allow you to create a batch of top-up cards that can be sold or distributed to your users. After installing the card wizard, you'll be able to create the cards, setting the cards, setting the attributes like value and expiration date. You can also customize the card's appearance and import the results not only to paper cut, but into Word, allowing you to print the cards so they can be then sold. After saving the file, you will have the option of opening Word to finish creating the cards. You will need to disable macro protection for Word in order to complete this part of the process as it, that can cause it to fail. As you can see, we now have a selection of cards that we can print out allowing users to add credit to their printing account in $10 increments. After printing the cards, we can now import the file that will track the cards as they are used. Go back to Card Management and select Import New Cards. Choose the file. It will be listed with a batch number and end with a .tnd extension. Once the cards are imported, you will now be able to see the card number, value, user that redeemed the card, and date, as well as the date the card will expire and when it was created. To use a card, the user will purchase or be given the card number through an email. They will then log on to the user web interface and select Redeem Card. They will enter the card number here and their account will immediately be credited with the value listed on the card. On the admin side, you'll be able to see who used the card and the date they redeemed it. Once the cards have expired, you can easily use the Actions menu to delete expired cards or even used cards as needed, and then start the cycle all over again. Hope you enjoyed this quick walkthrough, and feel free to reference this information in the online tour at papercut.com. Thank you.